it's probably, you know, a familiar story to a lot of FA parents. Um, you know, you know something's a little bit off, but you, you know, I mean, we chalked it up to her just being uncoordinated. When Kate was first diagnosed, I was devastated because my child might have to be in a wheelchair. I thought, oh, how will they ever? You just have no clue. We sat down the girls and explained everything to them. And uh, Sam was devastated about Rebecca. You're in this world that you never dreamed you would be in. You, this is always something that happens to other people. You hear about it. it uh, unfortunate that it happens to other people, but boy, it sure hit home. When Rachel asked our doc, what is Friedrich's ataxia and what do we do about it? Um, the answer was, there's nothing you can do about it. People around the world were being told that. So they felt alone, they felt helpless, and there was no reason to feel other than hopeless because there was nothing they could do about it. When Keith was diagnosed, we looked around and saw there was a lot of work to be done and um, we needed an organization to get it done. We'd built what we'd like to think of as, as a fairly substantial ship um, that was underway um, and with a, a, a good infrastructure, good bones on that ship. Um, but still didn't have enough money to really drive that ship uh, forward at the kind of pace we needed. Thank God for Ron and Rachel Bartek getting this jump started. And they really moved it to a really uh, significant phase. So here we are in this living room right here. I remember standing right there in front of this whole group of researchers from around the world. I was standing right there saying, I really don't know all of you folks in this room and you don't know me. And I'm pretty damn good at making a blooming onion, but I'm sure suck at science and uh, got uh, you know D's at best in my science classes but you know we are going to work on our strengths and all together come together as a collaborative team and uh, uh, as Ron Bartek always says together uh, we will make some incredible things happen. He invites me to come down to Tampa to brief the, the co-founders of Outback Steakhouse Incorporated and, um, and here we go. <laughs> It felt in so many ways like you're coming home. Um, there's just a massive amount of comfort and security. Um, you know, Ron Bartek, he remembers everyone's name. He gives you a giant hug, um, a bear hug. You know, there is just a true sense of family. I, when I meet a new family, it means the world to me when they say, what can I do? How can I make a difference? So today I'm super excited about the video because I am collaborating with Madeline Frederick and Madeline also has that day but she lives She started her website and she started her Instagram account and all of it was just to maybe impact one other person and I think that I just I find that amazing. From the very beginning um, she said, I want people to know what this is like. I don't want people to feel like they're alone. We talked about, you know, the girls wanted to do whatever they could, and we just feel like every data point that we can generate is valuable. I think it's important just to be a part and, like, do what you can to help. I'm a strong believer, thinking that my family has been placed on this earth while as other families have been on this earth because we are people that are going to fix it with all of us here together tonight. We are all going to fix it. Uh, last year at the Energy Ball, uh, we, we didn't know what we were getting into. Um, we just wanted to go and see, see what it was about and help, you know, provide support. And, you know, watching the FA patients up on the stage, you know, dancing and just smiles on their faces. And Sam came down and she looked at me. It was, it was a dad, this is the best night of my life. I think initially 
the energy ball was just created to raise money and help fund research to find a cure, but we've really realized that along the way, it's been about the relationships that we've made with a bunch of different families, other FA patients, um, and even with the researchers along the way. And those relationships are just so important. Sarah had the foresight to set up a patient registry, to set up clinical trial sites, and to establish a natural history study, which are usually things that drug companies have to do on their own and that take a very long time. Newly diagnosed FA families today, the patients and the families, uh, should have a lot of hope, should have a lot of confidence of where FARA is today. Uh, it's different than it was just five, ten years ago. The work that FARA has done is likely cutting the time that it takes to develop a therapy in half. And that's pretty amazing. Just a few days before he died, he, uh, the two of us were in his room alone, and he looked up at me and said, uh, I know you wanted to be in time, to help me. It's clear now that we didn't quite make it, but I know you're going to keep going till you get it, and you'll be in time for a lot of my buddies. In many ways, it's, it's a strange gift that we've been given because it reminds us how precious this all is, um, how every day with Polly, Sam, and Rebecca, are, you know, our luckiest days. They're both courageous. They really feed off of each other, and I'd have to use the word courage. They're really super strong girls, and the disease doesn't define their life. We will find a cure for FA, and I think that uh, all the elements that are needed for that cure are all pulling together at the same time. When you meet somebody who has Friedrich's ataxia, when you've been doing research on Friedrich's ataxia, it changes it to being something personal. It's no longer just research on an unknown person. It's now research for essentially your own family. I think a cure would be great, but addressing just some things would be wonderful. Just like other FA patients, they, they don't deserve this. And we can do something about it. And we're going to do something about it. And it's all in, all the time, all together. So, you know, how do you, how do you stop that <laughs> until you get it done? And, you know, everybody's shoulder to the same wheel. Every family pulling just as hard. We're going to get it done.